we, we also um, had a situation where um, the Bahamas, and this deals with uh, what we call international cooperation. I was in office as Attorney General for two months, and I got a letter from the president of the FATF threatening to put the Bahamas back on the blacklist. After two months, there I found in the office of the Attorney General a backlog of requests from the United States, from France, from Germany, from Italy, from different countries of the FATF. And they went and they complained, including the United States, complained to the FATF. And the president of the FATF wrote me in my capacity as Attorney General. And he said, if we did not deal with this, this matter in an urgent manner, the Bahamas would be placed back on the blacklist. The bah we, we found the Bahamas also on the monitoring list of the FATF. So the whole financial sector of this country, every six um, months we had to go and report to the FATF. And if we failed to report, or if the progress was not satisfactory, we would have been put back. In other words, that is the condition in which they left this country. But, but when, he was, when he was up there carrying on like an ass. When, when he didn't, no, seriously. No. Because, because, because you do not expect, you do not expect a prime minister in a democratic country to carry, first of all, first of all, he was conceding because they couldn't keep, carry on with the vote. That's right. And while conceding, he gets up and carry on like an ass. We don't expect that. How can I, ex how can I respect him as prime minister of this country when he gets up there knowing what he left in 2002 and, 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 and publicly makes the allegations that he made. We also found, in addition to the position of the Chief Justice, in addition to the mortal danger that the financial services sector of our country was left, we also found the Office of the Attorney General grossly understaffed. We had to put in a plan to systematically hire lawyers in every area, in the area of financial, of, of international cooperation. We increased the number of lawyers from two to five. We brought in more prosecutors. We brought in more lawyers in the area of, um, of, of, of civil practice. We found magistrates demoralized because of inadequate uh, facilities. We went and we got new facilities for the coroner's court, right on, um, it, in fact, the building um, and the facilities were condemned. We went and we got on, on East Street, we uh, leased facilities, we renovated, assisted with the renovation of those uh, facilities uh, for the coroner's court. In other words, we met a judiciary that was really in shambles. We met the office of the Attorney General, and I had also the Ministry of Education, they're talking about holding two portfolios, but yet we were able to get the Bahamas off the monitoring list. Yet, we were able to stop the Bahamas from being put back on the blacklist. And, I, and we have asked in Parliament, and we came to the Bahamian people and we reported. We have asked them, the Bahamas is now faced with the possibility of another action by IOSCO. They have not informed us. We had to come in Parliament and ask them, what is the status of the Bahamian uh, situation and the threat being made by IOSCO? 
which is the international body of securities regulators. But you, no one had to come and ask the Christie administration. We went to Parliament and we reported regularly. So when the Prime Minister got up and spoke, I think our leader has some brought up seat. I mean, because, because, because if it, if, if, it, if it was someone who doesn't have his respect for the democratic traditions of our parliament, the prime minister would have heard something that he is accustomed to hearing in the places he, he often frequent. You know, so 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 I think that for reporters, you know, you were live in 2002. Investigate, see what the state of the judiciary was. Do your research so that when political leaders get up in our country, whether they're from the PLP or FNM, and they make assertions, you can hold them accountable. And I invite you to hold the Prime Minister accountable.